My name is Ryan Hickok. I am head training specialist here at Cablecast Community Media. We're here to talk about squeezebacks. So squeezebacks is that new feature that is done with our VIO servers um, that is going to allow you to put in some of that interstitial content to play it within your bulletin board seamlessly. And it actually zooms in, zooms out, or squeezes in, squeezes out um, for you. One note that we do want to make clear with this is that this um, Squeezebacks feature is only available on VIO servers with customers that do have a CG license with their VIO server. If you have a Flex server, an SX server, or if you're using a VIO server but you don't have a CG license, you're using something else for your bulletin board or whatever it is, you are not able to do the Squeezebacks functionality. It is only with your Cablecast VIO servers with a CG license. So just want to make that clear um, on that. If you don't have a VIO server, reach out to sales and they'll be able to talk to you about what it would take to upgrade to a VIO. Um, a lot of other really cool features with the VIOs as well, but we won't go into detail on that. We're just gonna kind of focus on our squeezebacks today. So what is the squeezeback feature itself? It is a feature that allows you to seamlessly transition between your scheduled content and some of that interstitial content like PSAs, uh, promos, bumper graphics, station IDs, those sort of things, and have them play seamlessly in one of your specific zones on your Cablecast CG channel. Um, so this is a great way to kind of have that nice kind of seamless transition. The nice thing too is, is you were able to do video bulletins in Cablecast CG and Carousel before, but the thing that we like to mention with that is that the cable ca or Carousel and Cablecast CG has the ability to play videos, but it is not a video playback solution. So there are some limitations. There are some things that are kind of finicky with that. With the squeezeback functionality, it is using actually cable cast itself to be able to play that content. So it's gonna play a lot smoother. It's gonna play a lot cleaner and a lot more efficiently for you with this. So it's really nice. We'll kind of show you an example of that as well. This feature also utilizes two other features that are within the cable cast software, um, specifically utilizing saved searches in the fill gaps feature. We've drastically improved our fill gaps feature and the squeezebacks utilize that squeeze better that fill gaps feature specifically to get those programs to play back in that squeezeback style. If you do not know what save searches are or the fill gaps feature, definitely check out our new user cablecast training webinar. Um, that we have. There's a link for that right on under our um, website under the help center and there's a training and tutorials page right at the top. There's going to be a link to go to the Cablecast new user videos. This is going to be everything that you need to know as a new user. There are chapters and you can jump specifically to the fill gaps feature. You can jump specifically to um, the save search and advanced searching capabilities so that you can learn more about that so you can utilize the squeeze back functionality later on and kind of use it to its fullest potential, which is great. So let's first talk about setting up the squeeze backs. So there is some steps that you need to do to be able to set up and configure this. So we're gonna go over into our Cablecast um, software user interface. So we're on Cablecast 7, which is gonna be on our bio servers. So if we go to our settings, and we go over to our system settings. And click on that, we're gonna to go to our channels. And then we're gonna select the channel that we want to set the squeeze back functionality or settings for. So if you have multiple channels, you can do squeeze backs on specific channels or you can not do it on other channels if you don't want to. So it's by channel basis that we can set these up. So it's not system wide or um, location wide, it's broken down by channels. So in here, we're gonna to go to our channel six public um, channel settings, and it's gonna be under this branding option. So this branding option is a new feature, or it's a new menu option within the Cablecast 7 and the VIO servers. Um, the things that you can do is branding is where you're gonna be able to configure and set up your crawls, your bug text, and your bugs, and be able to edit, manipulate, stylize them, so on and so forth. We're not gonna go into detail on that. That might be a webinar that we might handle later on down the road, which might be a good topic for us in the future, but that's where that branding is gonna be. But we also have our squeezebacks menu option right here. And that squeezebacks is where we're gonna be able to set up all of our stuff for our filler content. 
So we're gonna click on that and it's gonna give us a checkbox to make sure, do we wanna enable our squeeze bats? By clicking on that, it's gonna give you some new options. So it's gonna be broken down by choosing what specific Cablecast CG channel you want to use. So if you do have multiple Cablecast CG channels, you can choose which channel design you want to use for this specific channel. So if you have a specific design for your public and then a different one for your education and different one for your government, you're gonna to wanna to choose the appropriate one for the appropriate channel that you're working on. Then what we can also do is we can choose which block or basically what zone we want to select to have it squeeze back into. More than likely, if you're using the preloaded new my or the new um, our town TV channel design that's new um, and preloaded with the VIO servers. It's going to have a nice video layout or in some of those different um, channel designs that we've had in the past. There's one that's specifically for video that is a nice size and specific kind of for that. So you might want to select that. You can either click directly on the zone itself in the video or the screen over here and the layout over on the right hand side, or you can choose a drop down menu to select which block or zone you want to use. In theory, you could have it go back to like something like this and squeeze back into the schedule. It's not gonna look right. I wouldn't recommend that. That's why we encourage you to use kind of that video block or that video zone um, when doing this. So it's as simple as easy as choosing which channel it is, CG, Cablecast CG channel that you wanna use for the specific channel, and then what block or zone you want to set. Now, once we hit save, that is set up. Now we're able to do our cable cast um, squeeze backs in our pro programming. So setup is very simple and basic. Now, how do we get it to actually work? So being able to schedule this and schedule those squeeze backs, and then we'll actually show you kind of what it does as well. So the squeeze backs in here, if we go back to our schedule, is the squeeze backs work specifically with that fill gaps option. So the fill gaps is we had that feature in the previous version, but we drastically improved it with our Cablecast 7 and our Vile servers. It gives you a lot more options and a lot more flexibility as to what you wanna have in your programs. So let's say for example, I'm just gonna schedule some content in here and we're gonna make it real simple. So let's say I'm gonna do an advanced search. Let's go on find everything. We'll do total runtime, and I want to find everything that's less than five minutes in length, let's say. There, it's going to give me my list of everything that's five minutes or less. So I'm going to find, let's say, no, we've got something that's in there. Let's just say we're going to schedule this one right here. So I'm going to schedule that program. We're going to schedule it at 1.30 p.m. And then let's say I want to schedule my next program right here. And we're actually gonna schedule that at, let's say 1.35, just as an example. Or if you wanna just schedule at the top and the bottom of the hour, whatever it may be in here. So here, I now have a gap of four minutes and 30 seconds. Now before, you would just basically say fill gaps, you would choose, you have it set up so that it would use a specific project and it would just pick and choose and grab stuff in there. But now with our fill gaps, we have a lot more options that we can do with this. And this is where you need to set up save searches ahead of time. So we can have that gap filled with specific content that we create from those different save searches. So for example, I've got um, ad council PSAs, I've got content to fill gaps, I could have it filled with um, city council meetings, which wouldn't really be a necessarily one that you would use in fill gaps. But once you add that PSA, click fill gaps, you're going to see that it now has 14 filler runs. We can click on our little drop down arrow there, and it's going to show us that we have a whole bunch of stuff that is now filled in. So I'm not going to be on bulletin board during that time. It is now going to be an option of playing all that content. So if we were not doing squeeze backs, basically your scheduled program would play full screen and then all of this interstitial filler content and your fill gaps would then also play immediately after it in full screen mode. 
But now that we've enabled our fill gaps, what it's going to do is it's going to start playing our first PSA or our first item in our fill gaps feature. It's going to start playing it full screen and then it's going to zoom it out to fill into that little key area and our squeeze back. And then it's going to play all of our PSAs kind of in that squeeze back mode. Then our last PSA before it comes back out to our regularly scheduled program is then going to start playing in the squeeze back mode. And once it gets close to being finished, it's going to come zooming back out to full screen for us to basically have that nice seamless look. So you're going to be able to have your other zones be able to play back and forth and have other things um, going on and being shown in there. So in that video zone, it's just going to be playing all that interstitial filler content in there. So there are other things that you can do with that fill gaps. So for example, we do have some advanced settings. So you can say, I want to fill with, let's say our PSAs, but then I want my gap to open. And let's say you have station IDs or bumper graphics or a specific promo. You can choose that specific um, save search. It'll open with that sweeper or that bumper graphic. And you can also have it close with that. So you can have like a station logo, play, then PSAs, and then zoom back out, which would be really nice, really professional, really clean and looks really cool actually in there. So setting up and scheduling the squeeze backs is very easy. It's, it's really set up. Just what it's going to do is it's going to use those fill gaps. There isn't a way for you to specifically schedule something to go in there. It's all done with that squeeze back and that fill gap because it's supposed to be utilized for that interstitial content in there. So let's just kind of do that again. We're going to say, I'm going to use my content for fill gaps. I'm going to fill my gaps in that time. Being I have filled my gaps, I've got 11, min or 11 new items in there. Just like with anything that you schedule, you're going to need to send autopilot with this. I'm going to go and process that. Oh, we have a file not found. That's probably something later on in my schedule here. But then now, I have all that items and all that content filled in. I've got my green dots to do that. So what does this look like? So let's just take a quick look. We've got a little short video here. It kind of demonstrating what that is. So this is going to start with one of our uh, PSAs that's going to go back into a squeeze back or a promo. It's going to play another PSA and it's going to show us how it comes back out. And then it's going to go into our regular programming. So we're going to show this here. I've just got it muted right now so I can kind of talk over it. So there is our promo. It squeezes back into that zone for us. It's now playing up in that top right corner. You can see our other two zones are showing the weather. It's showing our upcoming schedule, whatever it may be in there. So we still have that bulletins in that CG kind of going through. And then once our promo ends up here, it's gonna to go to our next one. So there we have now in PSA that's playing, and that's what was also being used in that fill gaps feature. It's going to go and play through this, and then once this PSA gets close to being end or ending, then it is going to go zoom back out to our full screen. So we're almost done with this one here. And there it's coming back out full screen. This PSA is now going to end. And now this is our normally scheduled program that was as scheduled after it. You don't need to worry about anything. The configuration is real simple. You're using that fill gaps feature for with those fill runs. And if you have it set up, it's just seamlessly going to go back and it's going to make your channel look that much more professional and really nice. And let's just mention quick the what's going on with the bug there in oh. that demonstration video. We basically screen recorded the actual channel output itself. So we could have like a VOD copy of it, created a show record for it in our system. So this is actually a VOD file um, from a Cablecast system itself. Um, but because we had it created as a show, it added that bug in there. So that's why you're kind of seeing the tight or the Cablecast logo there. And if we were to play this again, you're gonna see when it goes back out, we have the normal bug, but then it kind of overlays on top of that kind of in there. So that was just kind of a weird, instance, it's not going to be that doubled up um, bug on your content. It's just with ours, it showed that way because we created a show record from this um, so that we can make the VOD copy of it. So right. that's when you, 
and when your content squeezes into that uh, zone, the any crawls or bugs that you have will disappear while it's in squeeze back mode. Yeah. So we'll just kind of watch this one, wait till this ends and comes back out just so you can kind of see it again. So our PSA is playing through. So if you did, like in this case, we only had two PSAs in this fill gaps that we're showing in this video. If we had multiple videos, like in that case where I filled the gaps and I had 11 items, it would play back in that squeeze back zone for all of those 11 items until that next scheduled program comes back. And then it'll go back to full screen like what we're seeing right here. This is that scheduled content. So with that, it's a really basic, straightforward program. As always, if you have anything, don't hesitate to reach out to support or reach out to your sales. Thank you, everyone.